Hey guys, welcome back to Creativity and Inspiration. If you're new, welcome. I'm happy you found us. And if you keep coming back, thank you. You were very important. I knocked something over. Today we are talking about how to use those little plastic ties like on bread. Not the twisty ties, but the just the little plastic ones, you know, they're about that big. I'm going to give you some different ideas how you can use them in your journals and in your creative space or your home. So let's just jump in. But you know, I've got to say it before we do. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit it. Click that little bell and select all. That way you'll just get the notification when new videos post. Not a big deal and I promise they don't spam you with a lot of anything. It's just the bell lights up on your YouTube thing. But I did want you to know that I know a lot of you keep watching. I mean a lot more than is subscribed to watch the videos. So if you could hit that subscribe button and click that little bell that would be awesome. After the video is over, if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And always, you know, there's a magic word somewhere in the video. Leave me the magic word down below in the comments. Also, I always ask some crazy question down there. Answer that if you don't get to the magic word. Okay, now into our video. Okay, guys, this is what we're talking about today. The little plastic bread tie. It can be on buns, bread. I don't know. I think a lot of different things. Though some of my bread and buns still have the twisty ties as well. So I think it just depends. I got this one off my thin bagels. So there you go. The first ideas for these little bread ties are going to be related to your journals. So what can you use them for when it comes to your journal? Well, the first thing I think that pops into everybody's mind are they can be little tabs to mark different sections in your journal, which is a great idea. They're tough. They're not going to, you know, get bent up or anything. And they come in different colors. So if you buy products with different color tabs, you could have different color tabs throughout your journal. Another way you could use these is as a closure. You could put them on a journal on this end, have your, whoops, hold on, let me get my ribbon. Attach it on one side of your cover, have your ribbon on the other, loop it through, maybe two or three times different ways. Loop it around, like make it poke out and loop it around your cover like that. And that could be your closure right there like that. So they can be closures and it works. And I've got it all knotted on there, so good. <laughs> okay. So closures, they could be charms. You could put several of them together with beads and other things and make a charm for your journal. They could be page borders. How pretty would it be to have different colored bread ties? Or, you know, you can paint these or cover them in paper as well. You could also trace this onto paper and make a bunch of different ones, different colors, and make a page border out of them. You could use them to decorate pages, tags, journal cards. Here is an orange one. So you could use them as decor on any of your ephemera that you make. If you have bingo cards, you could use them as placeholders on bingo cards. If you're making tiled art and you don't want to use big chunky 
tiles or you know broken dishes or you know you can buy thinner tiles you could use these to make tiled art with you could also use these they're plastic cut them up into a bunch of pieces and put them in a card and make a shaker card because they would make noise all broke up you can also use them as a ribbon or twine, some kind of holder, just wrap it around. And when you get as much on there as you want, then store it in your journal somewhere and it can hold that for, if you're on the go, you will have your ribbon, twine or whatever with you. Same thing, you can wrap washi tape around them. Washi tape works too and you just wrap it around and then when you get however much on there you want just break it off and there you go. It'll hold washi tape on the go. Now around your space you can label cords, you can label wires, you could use these to make a charm on a necklace. You could cover it and put a stone in the center. You could make earrings. If you had two or four, you could make layered earrings. You could make wine glass charms with them. But my favorite thing to do is you could collect a whole bunch over time and make, you know, those beaded curtains from the 60s that were put over doorways. You could make a uh, beaded curtains out of these. You would just have to collect a lot. But if you save them for a year, you could definitely make that or a set of curtains. But I think my favorite use in a craft space, well, I have two favorite uses. One, let's say you had a pegboard in your craft room. I do not, but if you have, I know a lot of people do have pegboards. You can attach these to the back of boxes that have supplies in them. You could attach them to sticky notes and use them as hooks to hang on your pegboard. How cool would that be? But I think my favorite use for them, I think my favorite use for them, and this is a journal version and a craft room version. The journal version is to use them as tabs on your rolled fabric. Remember you sewed your fabric together, rolled it around an old spool. And if it's taped down, you could use that to pull it off and then cut however many you wanted. And my favorite use for them, whoops, that. And my favorite use for them, not in the craft room, but in my home, is to use them on tape. So if my tape is not on this, if I had my roll off, it keeps my roll of tape from closing up. Here, let me show you. Oops. And see, it keeps my roll of tape from closing up. Then my tape starts. So if I don't have it on this thing, it's still easy to get and start and pull. So I love that. That's one of my favorite uses for them. It's just this roll of tape happened to be on this. Oops, I always put it on backwards too. I guess that's just a few of the ways you can use these little plastic tabs off your bread, bagels, hot dog buns, whatever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some new ideas for those little plastic tabs that are on your bread, hot dog buns, bagels. I don't know where all they are. But there's some really cool uses for them. So next time you get ready to throw that 
empty bread packaging away, save that little plastic tab and see what you can use it for in your journals or in your crafting space. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, if you made it this far, the magic word for today is baking. So leave baking down below in the comments. And as usual, check out the question I asked down below too. It's always kind of fun, kind of random. So anyway, thanks for being here today, guys. You're super, super appreciated. I will see you on this weekend. I work both days, but I will try to get a video up for you guys. Take care. Bye.